Hello, today I'll be playing a round at Unger Park. My name is Carter Langenbacher, PDGA 152484, rating 907, a little bit of wind, it's pretty warm and sunny though. All my shots will be measured by the Apex NF6000. Hole 1, par 3, 225 feet. Pretty much a straight a straight hole. It's hard to do anything but go straight down the middle. So that's what I'm going to opt for today. I'm throwing my origin, trying to throw a flip up through the gap. I hit a branch and it smacks it down. Try, I'm going to try to get a, give it a little bit. Turn it over a little bit. Hits the tree. A simple tap in putt. Funny story, after that first tee shot, I, did, I tried a practice shot and I aced it. So that was pretty cool. Hole 2, part 3, 230 feet. A little bit of tall grass at the beginning that you want to get across. There's a creek straight down the middle. I'm pretty sure that's casual. Um, and there's a dirt, dirt by the tee, or by the hole. So you want to skip it up with a big hyzer. Trying to throw my A3. I saw it off and hit the tree and drops. Here, I'm going to try to go through this tight gap in, in between the trees. Try, try to give it a little bit. I'll leave it a little low. It was online though. This is my comeback putt to save par. And right in the middle. Hole 3, par 3, 230 feet. This is pretty much a dead straight putter or mid range shot. You can throw a little bit of a hyzer or a hyzer flip, but other than that, you just want to hit, hit the ground right before the basket and skip up. Here I'm throwing my MD, trying to throw a little skip shot, and parked. Hole 4, par 3, 210 feet, bends left to right, pretty difficult hole for me so I try to go over the top and take the woods out of play with a grenade with my Discmania Essence. Uh, I leave it a little left, tips that branch and just slowly comes down. I'm way short and I had to convert this upshot to save par. Trying to throw a little forehand flick to get by the basket. Hit that bottom of the tree. Leaves me with a tester par putt. There we go. Hole 5, par 3, 270 feet. Here, I'm going to opt to go straight down the middle, leave it a little left, hope for a putt. But it's pretty much hard to get there without a roller. A lucky roller. I'm going to throw my Axiom Crave. I throw a slight turnover, have it fade back. Fades back a little early, but it will leave me with a putt. Pin high. So I'm going to try to make this and air ball left. There we go. Hole 6, par 3, 290 feet. Woods on the right up until about 60 feet away from the hole. So you just want to throw a, a tight turnover or you can go a big ante. I'm throwing the same disc as last hole, my Crave. I'm trying to throw a big turnover. And I thought it was a little low out of the hand, but the wind picked it up and carried it to the basket. Here I have a tester putt to 
make birdie, and dead center. Hole 7, par 4, 690 feet. This is might this might be the longest hole I forgot. So here the big tree in the middle with that orange sign, that's a mando tree. You have to go right of that tree and around it back to the left side of the fairway. The hole's tucked in in the woods back there. And by the tree line, there is a little dirt patch that you want to skip on and hope that you don't go long. So you want to lay up a little short, hopefully it skips. You miss all the trees and land right where the camera is. Here I'm going to throw my star wraith. Trying to do a flip up around the tree. Way low. Way left. Oh, just barely gets around the mando tree. Trying to throw a straight shot to the gap. Skip it up a little bit. I pulled it a little fast. Hits that tree and sits by the basket. And I make, make my birdie putt. Hole 8, par 3, 350 feet. OB water on left. Thick brush left. Deep of the pen. Um, pretty wide open on the right side. You just want to be pin high, right? If it, if anything. Here I'm throwing my Dismania PD. Trying to throw a hyzer. Leave it low. Hope he comes back. And it does, but way in front of the pin. So, try and give a little bid. I pull it, and another par. Hole 9, par 4, 570 feet. This is a bomber hole. Flat ground. You can throw whatever you want. So, OB way long in the pen. As you can see, there's like one tree in the fairway, so you can do whatever you want here. You just want to lay up till about 100 short. Not really lay up, but you want to have an upshot. Relatively easy ones for birdie. Here I'm gonna throw my discraft thrasher. So I'll flip up. Try to get as far as I can. I get way down there, but not as far as I wanted to be. Here I have an upshot. I'm trying to throw my envy. I'm trying to park it. I'll leave it low, really low, and I have a tester putt. Just sneaks over the edge. Hole 10, par 3, 200 feet. So the normal fairway is where the camera's walking right here. That's typically a lefty line or a forehand line. But I'm going to go over the OB. And, oh, there, look at that, a snake. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one of those until uh, today. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to go over the creek, try to get through the gap, and bullseye. Hits the pin and stops. Hole 11, par 3, 265 feet. There's some brush on the right that you don't want to be, but you really don't want to be left short. Because there's OB over there and a lot of greenery. So you want to skip a shot up to the pin. Here I'm going to throw my FD3, trying to throw a big hyzer and have it skip on the ground. Almost does and hits the base of that tree. I think I would have been parked. But leaves me with a long putt. Oh! Just short. Tap, another tap and par. Hole 12, par 3. 275 feet. This hole is a big turnover for me, or a big hyzer for lefties. I think this hole is the most difficult hole on the course, just because of how 
Much it bends from left to right, with all the trees in the fairway. I'm gonna throw my Axiom Crave, trying to throw a turnover. Hits that branch, starts to fade off, but luckily hits that tree and is somewhere in the middle. Middle-ish. It'll leave me with about 100 foot upshot, trying to throw a flex forehand. Hit the other tree. Two for two. And then right of the hand, I knew that was not in. Oh no! Another, that was the closest putt today that I missed. Dang, first bogey of the round. Hole 13, par 3, 255 feet. Left, not good. Right, not good. As you know, we're in the woods. So, you just want to stay in the fairway. Here, another dirt. Dirt, the ground's all dirt around the tea, teapot, tea box, and... And so you just want to lay up short, out skip. Not like that. That was bad. I'm trying to little forehand because I have nothing. I don't have enough room to get power to get there. So I try to lay up short for a putt. And that's way short. Another cage hit for those long putts. Hole 14, par 3, 165 feet, straight shot, Use this is a must get. Throw my fierce, got a straight shot. That's pretty close. And I uh, make the butt. Here, this is pretty much a straight to hyzer shot. You want to land close to the pin because there's a few guardian trees right around the basket. You want to get over that log. I'm going to try to get over it with my Envy little stall hyzer shot. Leave it a little left, but that's pretty close. And there we go. Hole 16, par 3, 185 feet. A little deep is not very good. A little left is not good. A little right is not good. We're in the woods. Try to throw a stall hyzer shot with my envy again and almost put it in. I don't know how that fell out. That was crazy. That was dead center. Hole 17, par 3, 210 feet. Long, there's a lot of brush. Left, a lot of bushes. Right, a lot of trees. I'm going to hit short of the pin so you can skip up to it. Here, I'm going to throw a forehand. Opto Pioneer. Land it by the basket and skips forever. And that brush I just talked about. Try to give another long bid. Another air ball. And par. Hole 18, par 3, 200 feet. This is a pretty difficult hole because the line right off the tee is pretty tight. I'm going to try to go on the right side of the tee box to get as much room as I can. I hit the first tree and the fifth tree maybe. <laughs> try to throw upshot for par. Right by the log so I got to do a straddle. And I make it. Through 18 holes I finished at negative 4. Um, I did pretty okay, except for that double bogey in the bogey, that spit out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and tell your friends.